we're engraving the donor names onto the large wall here at the entrance uh, into the Olin School of Business. And um, what the process involves is, is applying this rubber masking to the stone surface first. All of the information that is being engraved here was sent to us electronically and we cut basically all of this rubber stencil with a computer. And then what we do is, is we shoot an abrasive at a high pressure of air at the uh, actual stone panels with the rubber stencil applied to it. And wherever this stencil has been removed, exposing the surface of the stone, it actually will eat away the lettering into the stone itself. These panels that I have here have the stencil applied to them, and we just finished actually engraving the uh, lettering into them. So the next process that we have with these panels are that we will apply a, a light gray staining into the lettering, and then after that's completed, we will actually remove this stencil, exposing the finished engraved piece of stone with the lettering into it. There's a total of 42 panels that will be engraved on site onto this wall. These letters that are here are actually what are called hand cut V letters and they are actually still cut with a chisel. We apply the same rubber stencil to the surface but instead of using a sandblast with the abrasive process to engrave them, he actually will take a, a chisel and he will actually cut all of these by hand. And then once everything is completed, the whole wall will kind of get a, a final little bit of a cleaning to get some of the dust and the other debris off of it. This is, uh, that box was actually custom built for this project. Uh, I guess it'll be called the Olin School of Business Engraving Box. <laughs>